Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. This is one of the issues that we keep talking about, the unity of Africans. The African leaders that we have right now somehow do not understand, not all of them, but there's a lot of them that do not believe that if we unite, we can actually make something happen. We can actually change the situation that we are in right now, but they rather look up to the West instead of working with their brothers and sisters that are here. I'm saying this because of the current situation with Niger. I talked about this before a few months ago when Mali government, military government, kicked out the French troops because they claim that they are meddling in their politics. They're actually making it worse with their fight against the jihadist group. What did Niger do? The president actually said, come, we want to welcome you French troops, even though my neighboring country just kicked you out for meddling in their politics and messing with their economy and peace, I would like to welcome you into my country. And we questioned why he would say that, why he would do that. But guess what? Now they've actually voted, the lawmakers of Niger, and they've decided they want to invite European troops into their country. 131 vote in favor, 31 against. That's the result that left little room for doubt as to the direction Niger is taking. As the ruling party of President Mohamed Bazoum had an overwhelming majority in the National Assembly in the vote on foreign troops deployment in the country. We have not yet concluded the agreement, honorable members, but we will conclude them now that you have given us the green light and you will be informed of the progress of things. How depressing is that? We understand you want peace. We understand you want to protect your country. But acting like you're blind, you don't see what they're involved with or what they've been doing in neighboring countries and they were being kicked out for a reason. In other words, what they're saying is, I know my neighboring country kicked you out for doing some shady stuff, but I believe you over my brother. I believe what you stand for. You're calling your neighbors liars. You're saying that I believe they will save me. They are my saviors and I will put my trust in them. How sad is that to hear? As an African country begging and asking uh, European troops to come to your country to help you out with terrorists in your country. How do you expect them to be good to you when they were not being good to Mali, to Burkina Faso? What makes you think you're different? I, I just... I can't understand it. I don't understand it. Even if you're desperate, you would want to make the right decision for your people. That's my thought on this. Let us know down below what your thoughts are about this obsession we have when it comes to the West and thinking that they are our savior somehow. Let us know down below. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.